Hello everybody, it's Tanya Davenport with Coldwell Banker High Country in the beautiful North Georgia mountains. I am on a windy, windy day standing in front of 127 Senna Loop. The property is listed at 575. The home was built in 2007. It is a three bedroom, three bath. It's sitting on 1.94 acres. It's in the development of Big Ridge Skyport. It's uh, probably about 10 minutes away from Blue Ridge or less. Um, it is in a development. You can see it's got a beautiful view from the driveway. It's concrete driveway. It's a gated community. The um, development has um, fees annually of $300 per year. <coughs> there are um, two fireplaces at the home. One of them is on the outside. The porch goes um, three quarters of around the property. It's not a wraparound, but it sure is close to it. It's got a beautiful tin roof. It's got a garage and it also has an outbuilding. Um, I'm going to show you there's a lot of um, landscaping. The, the property is nicely maintained. And of course, we're not, we've not hit that summertime peak where the grass is really green. So you got spots of um, weeds growing and the grass is still a little bit, um, um, should I say, dead looking. But anyway, um, the view is not dead for sure. It is very beautiful out through here. There is a home next door, um, but it's not too too close so you've got the little breezeway that goes to the garage it's a two-car garage you got doors those doors right there go into where the kitchen and dining room is and then you've also got the door over here where the guests can come through I'll take you over here to where the outdoor fireplace is I'm hoping that you can hear because the the wind is blowing into my phone bedroom is with a beautiful bathroom um, you can just step right out here and enjoy some time in front of the fireplace um, if you'd like and then there's this building down here that actually um, has garage doors on it too and I've not been in it yet so there's neighbor and then there's additional parking right here that goes around so let me see if I can pull it up here As you can see, not paved. As you can see, that the uh, driveway right there is concrete. So I'm going to walk you inside. I've not had all the lights turned on. I've got people here looking at the home. It is beautiful. There's the second fireplace. So it's a little dark in here. Um, since I don't have lights on, let me take my sunglasses off here. All right, the ceilings are beautiful. Very open. There's a combination of sheetrock. Got pretty beams. And then coming down, it's all open. You have a staircase that's going over here. You got a loft up there, and I'll take you upstairs in just a minute. So you've got um, one bedroom on each level. So you got your dining room over here. And then you've got your little eating kitchen. So as you can see that there's gas, nice new appliances. You got a pantry right there, which is very unusual for these cabins. They don't always have um, the uh, pantry space. Um, beautiful high si um, cabinets. Granite countertops. You got your microwave and your oven right on top of each other, which is great. And then you've got space, I'm running into stuff, and you got space right here. And there's your gas stove. All right, so I'll, as you can see the floor, as I'm trying to navigate this little stabilizer. There's some big furniture that they've got in here too. So the, the living room is spacious. 
um, but they've got large furniture, so it kind of makes it look a little bit smaller. So the hardwood floor runs throughout in here. <laughs> My buyers don't want to be in the video. The ceilings are high. So it's definitely higher than your standard eight feet. Um, there's the sliding doors that go out to where the fireplace is. The room is very large. It's a king size bed. It's um, not got a walk-in closet. It's just a, it's a large um, closet, but it's not um, your walk-in um, closet. So you've got tile flooring in here. I like one thing, they've just got some different features to the home where they've got this little um, divider from the um, wood floor to the tile, which is great. And I honestly have not turned on any lights in this house. It um, is, it's well enough lit without it, but it does help for video and sake. So you got the combination of sheetrock and wood throughout the home, which is great. Just kind of breaks up um, all of the uh, wood. You can actually do some different colors. So the door right here is a little different. So if you're in the tub, I'm not sure that you would want to have the door open to your bedroom, but it is a huge garden tub. You have got a window in here. Little area for a cabinet, they've got one. And then the toilet's right there. Very nice, large shower. All right, so on the main floor, you're looking at 1,904 square feet. And like I had mentioned, the, turn the lights off here, um, the uh, total square footage, uh, or like what I was mentioning, there's a bedroom on each level. So that's the one bedroom here on the main. The um, total square footage, of the upstairs and the main level is 1904. The staircase is, is fairly large. They do have a bedroom or a bed up here in the loft area. So as you can see how large this space is. It is a queen size bed, but it could be um, a king size. So I guess if anybody wanted to rent this beautiful home out, they could. Got a huge walk-in closet, whereas the um, one downstairs doesn't. You can see a little bit more of the ceiling from here. Okay. And here is a large bedroom here. And it's got a great view of those mountains out its window. Combination of sheetrock and wood through here. You got a pantry here. And it's good size or closet, if you want to call it. You got a, uh, your washer and dryer here on the second floor. Very nice washer and dryer and then there's the bathroom you can see what the tile looks like very pretty design different um, color than what was downstairs in the master it's just the standard tub shower insert And then there's another closet. All right, so I'm here at the basement. You got the hardwood floor. I'm trying to turn on 
and some lights here. We've got the engineer vinyl. Doors that'll walk out to where that other building is. And they've got a TV in here. They have drop ceilings. There's a utility closet here. Huge utility closet. And it keeps going. More closet space here. So you could make more bedrooms. And then I would assume this is another closet. Yeah, it goes under the stairs. Looks like they've spilt the stain as they were staining the steps. All right, so this is going on to a bathroom down here. Got a vanity, it's single. Got the combination. Well, actually it's just all sheetrock down here. Closet pantry for this bathroom. Let's see here. What's in this closet here? It's a pretty large closet here. Okay, so I am walking out from the porch to where the garage is. There's actually a little patio back here. This is nice. You can enjoy um, a fire. You've got this little back area right here. There's still some view. It's not going to be covered up that much once summer comes. And then you've got your garage. Concrete shelving, sheetrock, and the concrete is painted. It is a very large garage. Be a good game area if you was to rent this place out. All right, so I'm gonna walk down to uh, that other shed. They're actually heading there now to see if um, they can get in. Um, because it was locked, but we've got to check to see if the combination will work here. So this is 127 Cessna Loop, priced at 575, three bedroom, three bath, but it is, it's got that other um, bed up on the loft area, sitting on 1.94 acres, um, a total of 2,090, Two, no, 2,992 square feet. There are covenants and restrictions. And a $300 HOA fee. Okay, so I paused the video. Um, we can't get into this little shed here. Um, there's a door and a garage to it. And it loops around. So if you've got your little um, golf cart not sure if ATVs are allowed here you would have space for it and it's cool because it goes all the way around really a nice little feature to this property there's a lot to offer um, there was that fire pit up there but there's also this one down here so um, I, I would say that having your kids at one being noisy possibly um, and then you're up here at this other section um, enjoying your uh, 
and fire back here or 